How'd you get that tight and tight so quick? <laughs> Man, they signed it to you. They see my my agent, some great guys. They they made sure everything was was good. Tajay didn't bring one to the draft party. Ah, uh, nah, he did, man. He he was a little bit late too. I said, man, I said you got to make it, no matter where I go. How excited are you to be reunited with him? Man, I'm excited. We talk about it every time we get on the phone, you know. Um, but you know, I left it up to the man above, guy. You know, I believe in fate, family, football, and just talking to him, my family. You know, we had a projection where I was like the team that wanted me, and I talked to you know great means with them, but. You know, you can't control the draft. You know, the, the draft is crazy, but um, I'm I'm grateful and honored to to wear a Titan uniform, you know, back with my dog. So, hey, family reunited again. Does this mean that uh, you won't have to find a place immediately? You just hang out at Tajay's on his couch? Oh, yeah, for sure. He just told me, so you might well come tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what did they tell you when they picked you on the phone call and, and how does it feel? Uh, how do you think you fit in here? Um, you know, my guy ran called. The GM, so man, I'm, I'm glad that he made the call and saw something in me that you know, I can I can be part of I can be part of a, I can be part of a Titan, the Titans right now. But you know, just talking to him, he said, man, how you know I'm about to put the pick? And I said, you ain't gonna call me for no reason, Rand. So, <laughs> um, he started talking to him. This is a great like they like what I do, and he said, you glad to be back with your boy Tajay? I said, yeah, for sure. And, and then talked to Coach Callahan. I told him, you ready to get to work? I'm trying to get back to work. Sorry, how much did they talk to you about uh, handling return duties here, and how much do you like that? We haven't talked about it um, yet, but, you know, I'm willing to do anything from the kicking game to offense and playing whatever, you know. Um, Parmit turn, kick a turn, that's the biggest thing. My guy ties you right here, man. <laughs> Put him in there. Let's, let's see you guys together. What that is, coach? <laughs> Tajay, what do you think about him being a teammate? He's a, he's a, what do you think about it? Being what I think about it? Yeah, about him being a teammate with you again. It's a dream come true, man. It's like, y'all got to understand all the work that we used to put in, you know, the year before I came. So we get to reunite again and hold it. That's the, most, that's, that's the thing I'm most excited for. You have been in Rand's ear about this pick? Huh? You've been in Rand's ear about making this pick? Oh, uh, I haven't been in his ear, but I'm like, hey, man, look out for my boy now. <laughs> look out for my boy. But uh, I, it ain't about me. It ain't about me today, man. I'm, I'm going to let uh, I get with y'all later, man. Yeah. Y'all holler at him. All right. You're quite, you're, your uncle is Ed Reed. Is that right? Yeah, it was on right there, man. He was down here two days ago. He had to get back on where he had to go, you know, because he he a Hall of Famer, so you know, he gotta be in a lot of places at, at, at the right time, you know. What's what kind of advice has he given you and, and how's it been to kind of look to him as, as somebody who sh can show you the way? Really, you know, it's just sticking to the script, you know. He like always he like, look now. He's like, like it's already written. They're giving us the blueprint, you just gotta go out there and execute it, you know. You lead by example, you know, he's a hard working dude and I just like the thing that he do for the community, St. Charles Parish and Destrohan, you know, like that's one of my goals is always giving back to the community in any form. No matter if it's talking to the school, talking to the kids, um, cleaning up the neighborhood, giving food to the kids, homes, whatever. But what like what he did for St. Charles Parish is amazing. He's still doing things each and every day. But I'm glad for the opportunity and I'm most blessed to have him in my family, you know, and be a, a, a asset to me and teach me the game how he was so great at it. At picking the ball off, you know, read the offense, and I can read defense faster now, you know. You ran a four four two at the combine, didn't you? Yes, sir. What What's the fastest you ever been time? Four three. You know, at that time I had a lot of weight on me. You know, I was training, but you know, just trying to get big and stay lean. And but I, that's a fast time right there, four four two. But my game speed way different. You know, it's different from when you get just running by yourself and then. When you're running in a game, you're thinking like a dog chasing, so you really got a like a scary sight, and just trying to trying to run. What uh, you you suffered a lot of injuries along the way there. Uh, how difficult was that to deal with, and um, what's the key to staying healthy now to make yourself available? Also, real quick, I think we lost you on camera. If you can get that back on. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back now. We can't, we can't see you. We can hear you. So it's not the worst thing. Okay. Oh, perfect. There you go. I'm sorry. Um, you know, you can't really control that, the injuries. You know, you're playing a, 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 a physical sport that beat up your body and you just got to maintain rehab and all that. But, you know, 
I had probably from what I say, I had three three main injuries, uh, a labrum, an MCL, and an ankle injury. And, you know, um, I'm healthy right now. I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to practice next week to the, uh, the week after next. But the biggest thing is just going in there rehabbing my body. You know, you can't control that. Um, I only miss one one season. Really, really, only miss four games out of my whole career. So um, the other injuries really didn't affect me. You know, I played through the labor room at my best season. The next year in Seattle, I played through the whole season. And this year, you know, I wanted to make the best decision for me and 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 make sure that I was healthy to healthy for myself. You know, I wasn't going to just put myself out there and just re-aggravate it more and then had to have a sit back, you know. But I want to be ready for this this opportunity right here that I'm getting. You talked about your speed. Are you more of a straight line guy or more of a cut and go type of guy with your speed? I'm a I'm whatever you I'm, I'm whatever you call it, you know, get the ball in my hands and do what I do. You know, I can I can beat people, I can beat people with speed down the field, I can beat them across their face, you know. You can play chicken, whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm just not a straight line guy, you know, as you can see on my permit terms, all of them just not straight. Some of them cut and making somebody the first person miss. How much do you know about quarterback Will Levis? Oh yeah, it's crazy. I was <laughs> I went through I went to one of their walkthroughs when they played Houston at home. I saw him, he a cool dude. Um, just seeing him come in the building, he ordered donuts. I don't know if it was for the quarterback room, but it was just exciting because, you know, I had tied to the truck that morning, just watching, see how they prepare and all of that. You know, it's a new coaching staff. You know, I met some of the coaching staff that um, through Tajay, you know, when he was at the office and he'll be there on FaceTime. So um, I'm excited. You looking forward to learning from guys like D-Hop and Calvin Ridley? Wait, come again? You looking forward to learning from guys like D-Hop and Calvin Ridley? Oh, yeah. For sure. D-Hop been in the game for so long. I've been watching him, like, all my life and Calvin Ridley. You know, Calvin Ridley, they both are great route runners. Not even just those the other receivers, you know, going to Southern, you know. Um, Col- I think his name Colton from um, – Colton Dow, yeah. Yeah, Colton Allen um, from, I think it is, uh, from Tennessee, whatever uh, the name of the school was. Him, a great – a great receiver room, you know, and just as I said, Taki Tobit, the um, receiver coach, he's a great dude. When he, when I talked to him at the pro day, it was just genuine, you know. You could tell sitting there, he like picking my brain, testing me, and all that. I'm a, I'm a gym rat. That's all I do. Just study the plays, and it comes to me quick. So it, I would not have a problem learning the playbook. How familiar, if any, are you with the new NFL kickoff? rules and have you talked about that with teams as far as um the emphasis on more returns i talked to a couple teams about it you know um just i got to learn more about it you know it it got some some meetings about it that hit me like with the with the zoom calls over the process just showing that about different the rules but you know um every team different how they want to do their return and stuff so the biggest thing is just Seeing what the special teams coach want to do and what's the best thing. So the biggest thing that you can't fair catch it, and it's kind of hard for the kicker to to kick the ball in the landing zone. So he got he, he got to hit it in there. If you don't hit it in there, the ball go to the forty or thirty five high big. What's the conversation like with the Titans on special teams, guys? Uh, I haven't really talked to them. You know, that's that's the thing. I just had talked to the receiver coach when they sent them down, but you know. I know they believe in me. They know I, I I could do what I do when I get the ball in my hand. So, but that's the biggest thing, you know. Once I get there, I get to know them and what they want me to do, and just learn from the other guys. So, I'm a guy that's gonna be a sponge and try to learn from different things and how I can do it, you know. So, so you got se- seven siblings. Other siblings have success athletically, and how much helped you to be be in a competitive family? Um, all of them play sports, but they didn't reach the the level that I'm going to of uh, past middle school. But, you know, they all they all doing something in their career. You know, some of the doctors, some of them um, working in the plant and but they stick around my side all the time. I really get it from my dad and my mom. You know, they ran track and played football. You know, my, my, my dad played football. My mama ran track. So I get the speed from her side and I get the, the athletic from his side. How fast was your mom? Fast. It was my my uh, my my mom mom was going to the Olympics, but she got hit by a car when she was young. That's how fast she was, the running the Olympics. But she got hit uh, by a car and she had messed her leg up. And thank God she still to the day, you know. But she kind of, you know, 
kind of barely hear out one ear and uh, with a limp, but you know, thank God she's here. What did they tell you about? Uh, what they think about you getting picked and heading to the NFL? Oh, they excited. You know, um, they kept asking me, "When you going? When you going? When you going?" I said, "Look, I told them I had three more picks to my name get called, and they, they said, "Where you going? You going this?" I said, "Yeah, I'm going here," but it really wasn't that. I knew where I was going. <laughs> I knew where I was going when I when I got the call, but you know, um, when Tajik walked in the door, it was like he just shook his head and then. I think he probably known, but didn't tell me. And then I, I saw him. I said, "Man, dang!" And he was excited. Man, I went in there screaming. Dad got on the table, you know. But what's a fun story about Ty J or something that we don't know about? You know, we've had him for a while now. Man, the funny story, what it is, you know, we always was on a schedule. We got up in the morning, catch jugs in the morning, tennis ball jumping, feet, worked out at night. It was times that it was hard for him to get out of bed. I'm talking about hard. <laughs> and you know, I'm like, Tajay, let's go. Let's go. He's like, man, my body hurt. I said, man, get there. We're trying to eat. And I had to wake him up. He wake me up the time, too. He's like, bro, you got to go get it. You got to go prove them bars wrong. But at the end of the day, he's a good dude. You know, I met him my freshman year. And from, from that year on, we, he grew. And we're a brother from another mother. His family, like my family, you know, my tra- my family do the vice versa to his him and his family. But I'm so excited, man! It's crazy. Where where where, do, where are you guys right now? Are you are you from Luling? Uh, is that how I pronounce it? Luling, Louisiana. Yes, sir. We in Metairie, Louisiana. So that's okay. like 15 minutes outside. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. it, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats. Thank y'all.